This week, four women make CFTC history, the CME Group launches micro-sized options, and meme stocks make a comeback. This is Alex Perry with John Lupian News, and this is your recap of options and market news for the week. Here are some of the week's top stories. History was made as the U.S. Senate voted and confirmed four women to become the CFTC's newest commissioners right before the end of Women's History Month in March. Reuters reported that Kristen N. Johnson and Christy Goldsmith Romero were President Biden's nominees for the, for the Democratic seats, and Summer Mersinger and Caroline D. Pham will occupy Republican seats for a bipartisan commission. U.S. Senator Debbie Stabenow of Michigan issued a comment noting that, quote, this confirmation makes history because all four nominees are women, three of whom are women of color. CFTC Chair Rostin Benham and former CFTC Chairman and current FIA President Walt Lucan both issued statements congratulating the new commissioners. CME Group kicked off the week by launching micro-sized options. The exchange said in a news release that its micro Bitcoin and micro Ether futures are, quote, sized at one-tenth of their respective underlying tokens in size. The Bitcoin, the, excuse me, micro-sized options will add to CME's assortment of micro products, which also include micro crypto, micro metals, and micro treasury yields. The company says that its slate of micro products has, quote, traded more than 1.2 billion contracts since their introduction. The CME is also expected to launch an options contract on North European hot rolled coil steel or Argus futures on May 2nd, pending regulatory review. CME Group also appointed new directors just last week, one for its FX team and one for its broker tech platform. The trade reported that Chris Povey will be the director of the London-based FX team where he'll be, quote, overseeing the development, management, and growth of CME Group's listed FX options business. Meanwhile, Nick Gant will become the director of Broker Tech, which CME describes as an, quote, anonymous dealer-to-dealer electronic trading platform for fixed income markets. Both the FX team and the broker tech director roles are based in London. In the spirit of leadership changes, the CBO is doing some promotions of its own. Tim Lipscomb was promoted to Senior Vice President and Chief Technology Officer, where he'll lead efforts surrounding CBO's exchange, data, and clearing platforms according to the trade. Stephanie Renner, CFO of CBO Europe, was promoted to Senior Vice President of International Finance, which is a newly created role. Finally, meme stocks make headlines once again as meme stock mania returns. Bloomberg reported that 37 meme stocks surged 45% in, quote, out of the money call options. The high trading volume prompted a pause in trading on Tuesday morning. Meme stocks like AMC and GameStop reportedly closed at the highest levels in months. And according to Bloomberg, quote, retail traders snapped up $48.1 million in AMC shares on Monday, while GameStop saw a $2.4 million inflow, the most since January. Now, despite the comeback, billionaire investor Bill Gross thinks that the spike in meme stock trading is only temporary. Business Insider notes that Gross said, quote, both companies have very little behind them and their stocks will fall. That's all for now, but be sure to tune in to this week's edition of John's Take, and also be sure to check out our Options Term of the Week presented by Euronext. Fast Approaching is the 40th Annual Options Industry Conference held on May 10th through the 12th in San Antonio, Texas. This has been Alex Perry for JLN. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.